Thousands of men, women, and children have been affected by sexual violence in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Journals for Human Rights is an international media organization with projects in the DRC to create dialogue about sexual violence so that eventually changes can occur. Students at McGill University decide to start some of this dialogue on campus. I holler for a holiday! 70% of sexual abuse victims are civilians, the majority of whom are women and children. Their genital organs are often so badly mutilated that surgical intervention is necessary. These survivors suffer from effects of post-traumatic stress syndrome, such as anxiety disorders, insomnia, and depression. Only by giving voice to the voiceless will the survivors of sexual violence be free. People need to be aware of their rights for there to be change. In um, many African languages, there isn't an actual term to describe human rights that there is here in the West. And that shows that the English language itself is understood by the elites within the country and within the further global world, but not for the locals themselves who speak native tongues. So I think the most important things in terms of communication is to gain that infrastructure in terms of language and in terms of the media for the local citizens so that they can fully understand what it is that they are dealing with. Because the biggest problem is that organizations are there to support um, infrastructures for the West that are implicated in um, in places like the Congo, but the people in the Congo themselves are not there being represented and having a voice within the community. People need to be informed of the violence happening in their community so that the military and the society can take action. Local decision makers need to be pressured into taking action in order to make a difference. Journalism for human rights is very important when it comes to places like the Congo. Uh, there's a lot of terrible things going on there in terms of sexual atrocities and raising awareness for it is one of the best things you can do to prevent it. We need to inform citizens about the rights. There needs to be an international discussion. JHR believes that raising awareness is a critical step to pressuring authorities and ending the violence. On November 4th, students at McGill University united for Holler Day. I'm hollering and making noise. Hi, I'm a student at McGill University and I'm hollering and making noise. I'm hollering and making noise to support sexual violence victims and survivors in the Democratic Republic. Yeah, yeah. I holler for Holler Day. I holler for Holler Day. I holler for Holler Day. I'm hollering to support victims of sexual violence and abuse in the Democratic Republic of Congo. We support Holler Day. Holler for Holler Day! I support JHR's efforts. I support JHR's efforts. We support JHR's efforts. In the Congo. Good to go Holler Day! Holler for Holler Day! Holler for Holler Day! We support Holler Day! I support Holler Day. I support Holler Day. I'm hollering for Holler Day. We holler for Holler Day! Support Holler Day. To me, it's not a bad thing. Holler for Holler Day! Holler for Holler Day. Ending large-scale human rights abuses is no simple task. JHR has been working with Congolese media outlets for the past three years, creating national and international awareness. JHR trains journalists on human rights supporting so communities can become informed of their rights. To find out more or donate to this cause, please go to jhr.ca or holiday.ca.